家好，我叫卡尔。今天我想给你们介绍一下这款智能翻译耳机。Hello, everyone. My name is Carl, and today I want to introduce this smart translation headset to you. And so I'm going to take you on a tour of Portland's best foreign supermarkets. Go to an Asian market, a, a Mexican market, and Thai Thailand market, a Russian market, and Eastern European. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? What are you buying today? Confetti. Oh, confetti! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that you really love eating candy. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my! Oh, oh, hold on! I have to translate. I have to translate. Uh, Twenty. Three, wait, 23 children? 13 grandchildren? She has 23? Oh, oh my God. That was really fun. Now let's go to a Thailand market that is located in Gresham. It's been around for almost 30 years and I'm excited to go. Can you tell me what you have in your shopping cart and why it is very tasty? Wait, wait. Okay. Wait, wait, listen. โอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเค
Ready? Can you take us on a quick tour and walk us through the store and show me a couple of interesting things? Okay. What's up guys, um, we're here at the famous 99 Ranch Market, it's the ultimate uh, Chinese and Asian market here in the Portland area, and um, we're going to try out these headphones to see if we can uh, get the translation to work. Let's go. Um, so I'm making a video of different supermarkets in the Portland area with import foods. So I already made a video with Russian food and Mexican food. And now I came here to take shots of Chinese food. So if you, when you come here, what is your favorite Chinese food to buy? Um, so, since you live in Portland, what is the Chinese food that you miss the most from your hometown in China? Oh, the uh, hot, dry noodle. <laughs> so, you must, you must be from Wuhan. Headphones really do help open communication with people um, across language barriers, and I'm all about that. As a language learner, that's what that's what I love about learning languages is that once you speak, some, speak someone's language, you know, you break the ice. There's a, an appreciation for the attempt on your part to to understand another language and culture, and then that kind of facilitates uh, the beginning of a of of a friendship, or at least you know a, a good feeling between two people. So during my experience with these, I, I made some friends and I got to learn about some new foods, found some new snacks, and it was a great experience. So thank you for joining me for this tour. If you want to see me put this to test in a different way, let me know, uh, send me a comment. It should be noted that the headphones, they need to have internet connection. So you need to be have Wi-Fi or have your cell phone data connection for them to work in most of the languages. Although currently um, the device does support, I think seven languages. So you can download the language packs and then when you don't have internet access, they'll still work properly. And those seven languages are Chinese, English, Japanese, French, um, Spanish, Russian, and Korean. So something that I found out um, during my testing of this, this product was that you know, it's kind of awkward to ask a stranger to put a device in their ear during a pandemic. So, uh, especially when they're a stranger and not someone that you work with, which 
um, would be a lot easier. But anyways, so I carried a bottle of alcohol and, and I swabbed the device and I gave them the cleansed um, earbud. And um, some of the people were willing to do that and some of them weren't comfortable. So that's why I have been using the speaker mode, which um, the one person interacting doesn't have to put the earbud in. Um, and, and that's useful when, when you can't use two earbuds, but it is more, it, it is easier to use, of course, when you have two people ear to ear communication and you don't have distance limitations or outside noise. Um, so that's why you'll see in this video, you'll see some people with the earbud in and some without. Thanks for watching.